Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Beholder 3. We're back. Where in the last episode, we were able to pay off the blackmailer and send a, a wife beater, a wife and child beater away. For good, I think. Anyway, in today's episode, we now have to uh, raise $10,000, which we just paid off $6,000 to a blackmailer. Oh my god, uh, this is gonna be a. I'm not sure what the hell. We got 96 hours left, so let's see what the hell happens. Oh, damn. Cool, blackmailing. I don't know I could do that. And well, I got a bill for extortion. Give extort a citizen for illegal behavior. This is illegal only if only the author authorities are allowed to collect penalties from citizens. <laughs> what the hell? Damn bastard. Damn you. What the hell do you know? Anyway, I'm off to do some of these other stuff. I've just been trying to find ways to get more money. So it seems uh blackmailing is good. Maybe somewhat. Not really. Hey. Taking that. That is the drug we need. Nice. Hey, Miss Altman. You're here. Nice. Oh, wait, yeah. What can I... One less wife beater. Okay, yeah. I had your husband arrested again. I'm sorry. I Maybe it's better this way, Mr. Schwartz. I was a little worried about the kids, you know. And maybe he'll come around a little bit in prison. We can visit him. Maybe. Maybe. Also, I got drugs. I got drugs for the man. The man over here. Oh, he's not there. Where is he then? Um... Hi. Hello, children. Ignore me, I'm just gonna be, uh, checking in your place. Blackmailing and all other stuff. For stuff that you have. You might not know. Oh! Apple. Oh! Sugar. Nice, nice. Time to install a security camera, just cause I can, for the next tenants, of course. And, uh... Yeah. Hey, you. Oh, on the go again? Uh, about the drug. But yeah, uh, you and Nora Helm. Mr. Pranger, I saw that you meet Nora Helm more often. You make a nice couple, my wife says. Yes, Nora's great. I am completely infatuated with her. Is there a move, Jew? Could you let me know in time? A move, huh? Why is that? Well, in case you and Mrs... A Miss Helm move in together. There'll be an apartment available here in the building and uh, that I'll have to rent out. I'd like to plan ahead. I see, yes. No, don't worry about it, Mr. Schwartz. Uh, it's nothing serious with Nora. We're not moving in together. Ah, how considerate of you. Yes, exactly. Uh, why? I mean that you don't want to burden Miss Helm with your illness. Women always feel very responsible right away. So it's considerate uh, not to move in with her, but to uh, take care of yourself. But you know, love overcomes all obstacles. So maybe you should leave the decision to her. Oh, is that what you mean? <laughs> Don't worry, Nora doesn't know about my illness. That is also good. Afterwards, she'll have doubts as to whether that's a good thing for her, for us. And the sex is really crazy with her. <laughs> so I need the me medicine from you. You understand? Okay, wait, what? So, uh, can I speak with Nora? Nice to meet you, all right. You and Pranger make a nice couple. I noticed that you and Peter Pranger have become closer. You make a handsome couple. That's a bit unconventional, but I'm happy for you. Oh, we weren't a very inconspicuous, were we? <laughs> well, if even I notice that, Peter is nice and I like him. But it's nothing serious with Peter. Oh, don't be afraid to get attached to him, just because he's sick. Peter is still a good man, I think. Oh, Peter's sick, what kind of illness? But the thing that's... Uh, the thing with his weak immune system... Don't worry about it. I'll look for medicine for him. Then he'll get it under control again. I didn't know that. I have to go. Oh no, what's this about? What's happened? But, uh, yeah? Uh, about the drug. But the drug you asked me for, I... Do you have a... Give it to me already? Ah, oh, damn. Did I not see if it was expensive or not? Yes, I already actually 
I was actually able to get a pack of... Yeah, okay. Oh, Schwartz, thank you very much. That's super nice of you. Without you, I would be really lost. What do I owe you for it? Alright, this is going to be expensive. Aha, nice. It was expensive and difficult to get. Uh, That would make 3,000. Holy shit, a small postman has to deliver a lot of mail for that. Bye. Goodbye, Mr. Pranger. So did I get... Yes, I did. Hey, Nora. You remember that bastard Peter? The one you gave the AIDS drugs to? Uh, of course. He's fucking around in the world again. And I'm afraid. Do you have any symptoms? I don't know, I'm... I feel like shit. I can't even get a test done. In our beautiful country, there is no HIV, let alone AIDS. Please keep your eyes open to see if uh, they can get the medicine you gave Peter, okay? I will, Miss Helm. I will try everything, but it's really not that easy. But I can't say how promising uh, that will be. This Zido V. No, no. Z. Dovodin is expensive and very difficult to get. So why did you give it to that to his asshole? He's now moving around and infecting more women. Thanks for nothing. Oh my god. Oh. So sad. But hey, hey, we're for close. <laughs> Not close enough. But goddamn. Also, any money yet? Ah, oh, nice. Thank you. Damn, we're... Oh, we need like a 5k and a bit left. Woohoo! Cold bag of weed that I hid away from my daughter originally is useful. As now I have planted evidence onto Armin. And now I will be taking his office. Woohoo! Time to report him. Nice. Oh, we got money. Hey, yo! Woohoo! Wait for the arrest, but uh, I mean, he's not here. We're here pretty early, and uh, <laughs> what the hell's gonna happen? Ain't no one even there yet. <laughs> oh, shit, he just magically appeared. I didn't even see that happen. Hey, nice. And there we go, answer the phone. Do I have enough for... Promotion? Swartz speaking, I'm listening. I've heard what happened. Armin quite... Armin Krenert was arrested. But what a coincidence. I heard it too, yes. Too bad for Armin Krenert. Good for Frank Schwartz. Alright, I have a vacant office, and you deserve a promotion. So I'll mark you down for Kriner's office in department 3. If the office is already vacant, can't I just move in? I need to take a moment to think about whether you already meet the conditions. That looks surprisingly good. Then I guess I can congratulate you. Have I, already, have I been promoted? Promoted to department 3 indeed, nice, hey! Can I count on not regretting this decision? 100%, of course, 100%. That's what I wanted to hear. And move into your new office in Department 3. Snood. Click. Ayo, nice. Woohoo! Not time to get more blackmail with all these other people. Well, not blackmail, but uh, department stuff. Who the hell is this man? Greetings, Schwartz is the name. Frank Schwartz. Oh, uh, oh I'm glad to hear that. I'm uh, Carson Singer, your new colleague. Crazy. Who would have thought that I would introduce myself again as a new colleague? Well, yes, how come? I'm so close to retirement, I didn't expect to be hired. That's great, I'm happy for you. And I like your, um, style. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay, um, I guess we'll talk more with him later. I just want to see, uh, need equipment. So, but what am I now? Can I get these? Aha, uh -huh. yes, I can. Okay. I won't be using any of these newer security cameras. I prefer just the same old, same old one. Nice. Wait, how many... Crap. And lockpicks did I get? Four. Okay, that's actually perfect. Good. 
Well, I guess it's just time for me to introduce myself to everyone up there. And new floor. Oh, wait, stuff. What's this? This time it's stuff I can sell. Oh. I guess I can get rid of that. <laughs> nice. Oh, shit. Ernst. Ernst Muller's there. Uh... Yep, yep. Let's now just go around searching everyone's rooms. Don't you dare come in too soon. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Oh, hello. Crap. I'm gonna need a new... Oh, crap. I could have been introducing myself. Hey, hello. I'll be back with more lockpicks. Hello, my name is Frank Schwartz. I wanted to introduce myself briefly. Emma Grundig, hello. Oh, Grundig, you called me. Nice to meet you. Likewise, likewise. Do you like to eat, Mr. Schwartz? Um, well, everyone has to eat, so yes. But you must appreciate good food, my dear. Nothing beats foreign specialties and coffee. Oh, I guess, yeah, I'm looking for Kirsten Hanker. Looking for the custody record of a particular prisoner. An artist. Her name is Kirsten Hanker. This is not my field. Just ask Muller. He likes to lock, uh, lock people up for life. Okay, Muller. Uh-huh. Also, I guess, hey, I can talk to you. Hello. Greetings, Frank Schwartz, my name. Mr. Schwartz, then, I often see you talking to Mr. Muller. Ooh. I am, well, yes, as one does when working in an office. Important things have to be discussed. Are you one of the old hands, too? Well, I hope not. Uh, old hands, what do you mean? I guess of course not. No, of course not. Oh, old hands as in, uh, we are reformists, yeah. Yeah, I think. A new wind could blow from time to time. I understand very well. Are you alright? What about you, Mrs... Mrs. Stalker? Uh, you may have time to chat. But I still ha I still want to achieve something in this life. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Let us now knock on this person. Is this person... Mr. That was like a really tall chair. Or is this man just really tall? Hello, Frank Schwartz, my name. I am pleased to meet you. Hello, Mr. Schwartz. I'm Gunther uh, Baselus. My pleasure. How do you pass the time when you do not have to work? Oh, you are direct. Curious, huh? I uh, just want to get to know my colleagues a little better. <clears throat> that may be, but you never know who's listening. I'm also just living my life like you and the other colleagues. Mr. Schwartz, nothing special. Is there anything else you're dying to know about me? Uh, bear not now. Uh, how are you? How are things going for you, Mr. Baseless? Baseless? There's not much going on, just a normal day at the ministry. You may be right. But tell me, how is your family doing? My family, uh, quite well so far. My daughter Kim is pretty eccentric, but great. Like my youngest, she already speaks whole sentences at the age of two. Nice. Uh, she will achieve a great thing in life. That reminds me, I want to get a gift after work. And have you made any friends at the ministry? I'm also so curious about my colleagues here, huh? Yes, some here are quite nice. Do you also get uh, along well with your colleagues? Of course. Nice. Hey, nice. This man's good. He's a family man, eh? Hey. Nice. Shit, that's Ernst Muller's office, I think. I think? Yep. I think so. Oh my god, it is. <laughs> Damn. I'm not gonna be talking to him. He said so himself. He doesn't want to talk to me. So I won't talk to him. Instead, I'll just get more lockpicks. And wait for people to start leaving. Alright, everyone's left. You know, I'm gonna start with with Ernst Muller's first. I'm only spying on you, you little bastard. You've been messing with my life, I'm gonna mess with you. <laughs> don't tell me you don't have anything in your office. Nothing in Kremlin. Oy. That looks important. I'm gonna take that. I'm not sure what it is. 
but I think it's important. <laughs> Alright, now security camera. Good, good. Oh! Soda! This bastard, how could he? How could he have a soda? Security guard is probably going around checking the rooms upstairs before he's gonna come down here. So I'm just gonna wait for him to move on out. He is going through each room up there, I'm guessing. Ooh, ooh. Nice. No security man's downstairs? He's doing bottom floors first. Okay. Okay, nice. Got all rooms wired. Guess it's now time to get a whole bunch of money. Woohoo! Hey, my friend. How are you doing? How are you, my friend? Good afternoon, Mr. Schwartz. Uh, I guess, yeah. Thanks. I'm now just gonna go and start doing a bunch of stuff. Woohoo! Soda blackmail. Come on. Damn it. Okay, here we go. Soda blackmail. This guy. Hey, nice. Now, where do I get my blackmail money? So, this is where they drop off my money. It's not here yet. I guess I'll just have to wait. Hello, you. Can you... What? Oh. Ah. Well, um... I guess I'll talk to Ernst Muller. Even though he told me not to. Not now, Schwartz. Dismissed. <laughs> okay. I guess I'll wait for you to be in your office that I did not ransack. Hello, knock knock. Can I talk to you about something? <laughs> you better have a good reason to interrupt me. Looking for Kirsten Hanker. I'd like to know where a certain prisoner has been taken. Her name is Kirsten Hanker. I would have to look that up on the Ministry server myself first, but I will not do that, indeed. You do not have the necessary security level for this kind of information. Anyway, uh, why do you want to know? Kirsten Hanker was arrested as an insurgent. She's an, art an artist. Once they start opening their mouths, they become a danger to national security. Are you secretly collaborating with the Resistance, Schwartz? Uh, no, of course not. Uh, why is the Resistance so upset? Uh, anyway, don't act so dumb, Schwartz. <laughs> the so-called resistance wants to overthrow, nothing else. Yet everything resolves, revolves around power. Damn, what the hell is that? It's like falling debris happening outside. There is like a construction site right near me, but anyway. Who has the power, who wants the power, and how to get the power? And these wretched reforms also encourage the, these terrorists. Any concessions is a huge mistake. Okay, thanks. Okay, log into the server. I have this. 76281. 76281. 76281. Just wait. 76281. 762. Custody file, Kirsten Henker. File is subject to increased security level. Please select your employee profile. Earn smaller. Please enter password. Oh shit. 762. Cancel first. Oh my god. What is the password? I forgot. 76281. 76281. 76281. 76281. 76281. 7 Input correct. Ooh. Access the custody file Kirsten Henker allowed. Henker Kirsten born December 13, 1950. Nice. In Leader City. In state custody since July 7, 1986. Provisional detention in Leader City July 1986 to September 1986. Alright, transfer to 
whilst around penal camp September 1986 until further notice. Uh, yeah, the penal camp. What's this about? What's this other one? I don't know what the hell that is, but yeah, Wallstrand. The instruction for Wallstrand internment camp, light custody camp, focus on in incarcerating artists and other creative uh, dissidents. Do not interact. Do not incar incarcerate offenders. What the hell's going on? There are things falling outside. Offenders with high potential for violence. Okay. Cases of no great concern who may be public spirited with conditions of confinement upon release. Light security measures under under staff. Get information on Graholes. Okay. Instruction of Graholes internment camp. Wait, did I read it wrong? Right. Heavy custody camp focus on in incarcerating members of the resistance who are prone to violence and pose a threat to national security. Incarcerate offenders uh, with high potential for uh, violence, terrorists, murderers, traitors. High profile cases who may pose a danger to the public or national security if released. Some strict uh, security measures, unfortunately understaffed. Okay. Okay, now talk to Wolf Hanker. What the hell's happening? The building outside is pretty tall, so not sure what the hell's going on up there. Hello, who's there? Emma Grundig here. Mr. Schwartz, can you hear me? I'm listening, yes. What is it? Things have really gone wrong with the travel reform. What do you mean? The biggest travel reform, Armin Krenert, uh, tightening instead of openings. Do you really not notice any of this? Oh, that. Yes, I have. Oh, you mean the reform that Armin Krennic screwed up? If Armin Krennic screwed up, what do you mean? If you ask me, this this was no accident. Krennic intentionally messed up the reform. Stephen was furious, especially since we can't reverse the reform anytime soon. The preparation and approval process for such a major reform took years. Because of this camp, the investors, I mean the citizens, investors, ooh, lost a lot of money. That's terrible. Terrible indeed, however, problem, problems are thorny opportunities, Stephen always says. Ah, how wise. Indeed. But now to the point, Schwartz. We, Stephen, I mean, the great leader, are already planning the next great reform. And after the debacle with Krenert, we now want to involve someone we can absolutely rely on. Namely, you, Schwartz. Oh, Ooh, I'm honored. <laughs> What is it about this time? Music, Schwartz. It's about music. Stephen and the great leader, of course, want to relax the rules for music enjoyment in the greatest union. That sounds reasonable. I never understood why listening to music was so strict regulated. That's right, Schwartz. Stephen says the market for music is gigantic. It's about time we finally got in on this. I mean, of course, social progress must finally enter the realm of music as well. I see, an excellent idea. We think so too, and now that's where you come into play, Schwartz. We need your help. You, Schwartz, are a man of people. Of the people. You are simple-minded, down-to-earth average. Oh? <laughs> yes, Schwartz, of course, I am telling you that. That's good, isn't it? In fact, it's very good, Schwartz, because you are so basic. You also have acquaintances who are just as basic as you. Explore the market for music of ordinary citizen, Schwartz. What do I have to do with this? For this, go to your building and get us records of all the hot music genres, punk, rock, and pop. <laughs> Goddamn. Or whatever they call they're called. We want to know what ordinary citizens like to listen to. Can you do that for me, Schwartz? No problem, I can do that. Fantastic, I'll tell Steven that you have been very cooperative again. Holy shit, something's going on outside. Just wait. Alright, uh, if you continue like this, yes, what if I go on like this? Then you'll go far, Schwartz. Thank you, I clicked. <laughs> okay, nice. Be right back, I need to see what stuff has fallen. It's too dark outside, I can't see, so... Not sure what's up there. But yeah. Stuff falling, what the hell? It's gotta be like just... God damn, he's just staring at me. Anyway, off I go. Military service tax, god damn it. Yep. 
And now if I go home to talk with Hanker and to try and get more money. Yo, Wolf Hanker, you here? I gotta tell you something. I got info. Definitely Mr. Schwartz. Music. What about your music? Oh, can I ask you a quick question? <laughs> What's up? I uh, wanted to ask uh, you, what kind of music is that that you play on your guitar all the time? Am I bothering you? What? Oh, uh, no, that's not what I meant. I just hear you playing soft music sometimes, and I was wondering what kind of music it is. Fact? Well, in this country, you ca you call me a folk musician. Abroad, my music would probably be called rock music. Ooh, that's wonderful. Are there any records of your music, Mr. Hanker? I would like to buy one. Oh, uh, well, I, um... Can't afford studio recordings here in the Greatest Union, unfortunately, you know. Of course, I would be sure of success. People love my music. But how shall I say, for reasons I no longer receive permission to perform. You understand? I understand. Ah, uh, yes, of course I see. That's just the way it is here. You are certainly not allowed to mop the hallway as you see fit. Damn. Well, I would... Well, I, would you have a rock record by other artists that you could lend me? Records. I'm not tired of living. Even Ministry Reform Informer in the next room can dance along and then arrest me the next morning. No, no, but I'll tell you something. But this has to stay between us, understood? All right, yeah. That goes without saying. Good man. Listen, Schwartz. If you want to listen to good music in this country, and that means forbidden music, you need one of these modern players. You can... Uh, you can play CDs on it. Oh, nice. This is a small device that you can put in the pocket of your jacket. Then you plug two cables into your ears and you can listen to music. CDs, on the other hand, you can think of as small silver records that you can you then put into the Walkman to play. Oh my god, it's a Sony Walkman. <laughs> Only person who has the cables in his ears can hear the music. So the whole thing is absolutely tap-proof. This was just a test. There is such a thing? That and such a thing really exists. Oh god. Tomorrow we will all become machine people. <laughs> Get over yourself, man. Abroad, everyone supposedly has one of these. Only here we still live in the Stone Age. Tell you what, I'll give you one of my rock CDs. However, you'll have to take care of the Walkman yourself. That's great, thank you. But you have to get something for me in return. Oh, uh, sure, what? I need one of those professional MK... Oh, three cameras, okay. Since you're constantly going in and out of the ministry, surely it's possible for you to get me one of those, right? Um, why do you need such a camera? You'd better let me worry about that, but I can assure you that it is for my safety and for the safety of all peop for all of us. Okay, I got a camera. Well, I'll go get you an MK MK3. I'll do almost anything for good music. You surprised me, Schwartz, but I must confess, you surprised me in a positive way. Okay, it's about your wife. I have news. You better sit down. It concerns your wife. I don't understand. I don't need to sit down, so come on out. I've been able to gather information about two prisons. Wallstrand and Gruholz. Gruholz is a tough prison for hardened criminals. But your wife is alive. She is not in Gruholz, but in Wallstrand. Wallstrand is for the less serious cases. Dissidents, like your wife. Oh, I'm sorry for Kirsten. Is that all? I'm telling you where your wife is being held. How else am I supposed to react? The government must bleed for all that she has done to me. So tell me more about Gruholz. Oh, um, I, Gruholz? Gruholz is a place for the worst of the worst. Terrorists, murderers, traitors. And security measures? Strict but few. The ministry's forces are probably spread thin because of the resistance in the country. Thank you, perfect. Very good work, Schwartz. And you really don't want to know about the Wall Street camp? I've got to go. I'll get back to you as soon as I know more. Oh. Shit, shit you're disappearing? Ah, oh, crap, I don't have enough money. Oh, no. <laughs> but I guess this is where I'm leaving us all off. Bit of a cliffhanger. We don't have money to save Alex yet. We need <clears throat> 3,900 left. Don't know how I'm going to be doing that. Anyway, thank you all for being here. Like and subscribe and goodbye for now.